production with Jolly on Jolly TV. It's your girl Jolly. How are you guys doing? I today on my production I want to find out why most African men why do they when they travel abroad they forget their wife? Why? Why is that so? Let us look at the you know the factors that could be the reason why most African men abandon their wives back home in Africa as soon as they hit the land of the Western world. Like I, you know me, I always like to discuss in my studio. So let's meet in the studio and I understand. In the studio too, you know. Discuss on why most African men when they travel abroad, they abandon their wives. Most of the time too, they abandon their families. So we meet tonight. I'm gonna bring into the studio. <laughs> He's gonna join me via telephone. Uh, sisters. Hi, sisters. How are you doing? Man, I'm doing fabulous, Julie. And you? I'm doing great. Um, I I, I got a message uh, from my friend. She actually she she she, she saw a, a viral mess a viral message going on online so she sent it to me then i said okay it has been a long topic i wanted to discuss for a long time but since he's here and you know this one is a really 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 hard touching one so i decided to you know discuss a little bit on it you know so that we can you know find out factors that make you know most african men when they travel abroad they forget their wives at home so I got this message. Uh, it's a long one, but I will, you know, break it down a little bit. This story goes like this, you know. The young lady said she was, she was newly married seven months, and she was seven months pregnant when her husband got an American visa. Are you hearing me clearly? Hello? Hello. Yeah, so she, the young lady said she was seven months pregnant when her husband got an American visa, so they decided that the man would have to travel first, then later send for her. So I'm trying to break this story because it's very lengthy, so I'm trying to break it down. So, you know, the guy went there one year, two years, gone, nothing really concrete coming out, but rather she has always been going to the embassy to apply for a visa. And each time she goes, she will be denied. So she had gone for the third one. That was the one that really got her worried. And um, she was lucky enough to, you know, one of the you know, people interviewing her, the consular to be precise, called her to, uh, to, you know, tell her that there is no need for her to keep applying for visas because she would never get into the United States. So this time around, that was when she now asked why to cut the long story short the truth is the husband has blacklisted her yeah the husband has blacklisted her which means her name is on the blacklist she can never each time she applied for visa she can never be granted stating that he doesn't know her that she was trying to use his information to get into the united states so now and this young lady she let me add let me add she she also said that this resulted to her having a partial stroke which you know it's anybody can anybody can experience that it's a big shock so now it brings me back to a lot of stories i've been hearing and some i have witnessed and some i've been able to counsel too of you know african men leaving their wives behind and behind in africa and they travel abroad and once they get there the story will change so sisters looking at this um story now how what do you what what can you you know deduce from it yeah, okay, thanks, Julie. I mean, I mean, your summary of the story, it, um, first, it, uh, it's clear, and the story is very pathetic, usually, especially for the woman, newly wedded and uh, pregnant for seven months, and then uh, with the challenges of childbirth and then bearing a child, I mean, the husband uh, left for the United States. I mean, but, so the story, it's... Um, 
it's a little bit, um, I want to use the word a little bit uh, confusing because certain statements are actually made in the story too, it um, calls for some interrogations. And uh, one of them is this, how can the man send papers uh, if the papers are valid and then when the woman gets to uh, what do you call the, the the visa office where yeah and then he's denied, um, saying he's the, the the man has actually blacklisted um, her. It's uh, it's so where are the the documents or the paperwork that the, the man is sending? Are they genuine paperwork? If their paper are genuine paperwork, why uh, are is she blacklisted? So I mean, those are a little bit of questions that you may probably want to raise concerning this particular issue. However, I mean, it happens because anything actually can happen. Yeah. So my, my take on this is that um, I think it happens very often. I mean, not one, not two. I mean, so many people have gone through this particular issue. They are, they are husband abandoning their wives. And then, of course, the women are left alone with wherever they are. So it's uh, it, it's it's really pathetic and it happens. I mean I would straight I will I, I will not um, deny the fact that I haven't heard about such stories before. I mean it happens. So but uh, a bit pathetic actually. Yeah um Leah, talking about the papers um part of it which we just spoke about I think it's just basically from my own understanding I think it's just basically maybe invitation you know she was just, you know, invitation to come and meet with the, with the, with him. Just a kind of a way of trying to deceive her. You know, you can say you can give somebody an invitation, come and visit me. You understand that that that's not yeah. even. I wouldn't call that a. Uh, it's not. It's nothing big about it. You understand? Right. Uh, right. Yeah. So that's what I think it is. And uh, secondly, to being blacklisted, you just have to report. Once you just report somebody. To the embassy they will just be on the lookout you know they look out Correct. on the name and the information so if they if the information she gives and what is the embassy have is the same all they need to do is oh hey this is the person and they deny the person so she's just Correct. been black blacklisted by the embassy the guy what the guy did was to report but the embassy themselves blacklisted her name so that's what I, I I can figure out from you know that what happened exactly you know. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So I mean, there are some questions too that could also be asked. The questions too could could be, uh, how could you you blacklist somebody and then probably you I don't know if you they you gave them reasons actually why you blacklisted them because I also have a similar issue of somebody I, I truly know too well so. I mean, but that's this one now is the opposite. Is the woman who actually blacklisted the man here in Nigeria, you know? So the man can really not never travel. Uh, it's also marriage based, even as much as that the wife has have um, a daughter for him um, in the United States here. So, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a story that everything is really very possible. But, so I think. Uh, questions can be asked. You can blo you block somebody without um, if the person hasn't. I don't know. Without if his or her consent. Committed or whatever yeah, it is, and then the government or the consul or whatever it is has accepted it without prior questions or without we, person, we, person uh, who we, we is definitely, alleged. You know. Yeah. Listen. We. I. I wanted. We will get to that because I think I know the reason why. You know. Uh, you know the government have to do that you know it depends you don't because we don't know what the guy told them you understand we don't know what the guy told them about the woman you understand so it's what you tell the american government that they go by you understand so but my my question now is the, the, the reason why i wanted to look into this issue is what could make a man you understand who fell in love with a woman got married to her he impregnated her and let me not um let me not uh, let me bring to your notice too that the woman said she now has a twin she had twins a girl and a boy so he knew that she has you know two children with her with by herself so what could it make a man travel abroad and forget all about that 
and start he started a new relationship according to that story he also have uh, a, a child with an australian woman so what could be the factor that will make a man forget about you know the long time the relationship he had with a woman back home just be, just simply because he's now abroad oh man yeah yeah i mean it's um it's uh, first i think i would just you, you want to use the word i mean it's an economic issues you know because um and then also not um in, and not being somebody of integrity because if you are somebody of integrity and then you kept your bond of marriage to a person who you're legally married to you know you should keep it you know because even before except they, they were really married maybe they were they, they, if they were really married to the consent of the woman too would have been sick before the divorce however these days i mean anything can happen one, it, oh, it just takes one, takes one one person to actually divorce the other person yeah but now yeah but coming to that at first is you know it is the wish of so sad i mean but that's the truth it is the wish of every young man i mean to leave whatever country he is as ec ec um, that's ec economically deprived to an economically enriched country like uh the first world to to it from a third world to a first world it is the wish the reasons are these that once the person is from from the third world to a first world it means that um uh, wealth is open it's like what it called um searching for a golden fleece it's like uh, an exploration that was done by most europeans who were looking for wealth in the 16th 15th century you know because they went around the world looking for where they can see gold. It's the same thing for a young man who probably thinks that once he's done that, it's like a prospect that probably he's, there's poverty in the land. So he's trying to break that chains and barrier of poverty. So uh, yes, him, I agree with uh, you. I agree with you. If you are, you are trying to, you know, improve yourself, improve your, 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 your how would I call it? Um, improve your financial, your financial yeah. status improve yeah. everything about you but this by you know what we are discussing now is the wife you had a wife you both had plan you understand and you both agreed and you left what will make you as a person not forget about all that you forgot all about all that and you started a new family entirely and he he wasn't just you know wicked enough he went as far as making sure that that young um, lady would not also be able to find a good life somewhere else too. For me, I think it's wickedness. I think it's wickedness. Uh, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah. If I'm if I'm to look at it from the another side, because I'm trying to look at this story from different angles, it could be yes, he got in here. You know, when it comes to the issues of papers, because we. Do, she didn't tell us if the guy, you know, we don't know the circumstances that the guy left. We don't know if it was scholarship, if it was um, lottery, which I don't think so, you know. So if he actually left with a B1, B2, definitely he's going to be able to change. He's going to try to change his status. And for most men abroad, one of the criteria, uh, one of what they use is, you know, getting married, you understand. So, if even if that is his option, would he couldn't he have been able to discuss with the wife? You understand? Make her understand the situation, or even better still, just allow her. If she doesn't uh, want to understand, that would have been a different case. But for me, blocking this young lady and abandoning her with two children, this total that's total wickedness total wickedness on his own side and that reminds me too um, I, I got a story like that too a friend of mine was telling me this Tamara was her sister so the guy the guy was even actually sponsored by the siblings of the lady to study abroad and as soon as this guy got into the western world he decided to call the marriage a quit he said tell your sister she's She's been so wicked to me in the past, and I don't want to continue. She, if she finds anybody that is good for her, let her continue her life. 
you understand so my another thing I look, i'm looking at these two scenarios now and i'm asking myself is it that when they get here when they get to uh, they are so-called abroad is he a pay time a, a, is he a pay time are they trying to pay back <laughs> i don't know are they have, have they been harboring things that they need to you know pay the person back with or something you understand i don't know if you you, you understand what i'm trying to you know yeah, bring up here yeah. i mean i know I, the direction i think you're going to i mean yeah well yeah i mean it, it is i mean sometimes uh if if i i don't know it depends on the relationship the world before in but for in terms of marriage you know the man obviously would promise um whatever it is you know to the wife that um uh, that if if things get better for us, for me, I'm going to bring you. A little, but yeah, I'll, I'll bring you over. I mean, first and foremost is that the man who had um, who, who first has broken that vow, for example, doesn't even understand the meaning of the word promise itself, you know, because this will translate to other things he's going to do. First, he's broken yeah. the first bond of marriage that he has with the wife as a promise that. When things go better, I will bring you over. So that man lacks what he call integrity, and then that, that's also absolutely wickedness too, you know. Yeah. And um, and then secondly, you know, um, I don't know the circumstances in which, like you said, and uh, where he, in that he the circumstances are brought him here, and um, it could be I don't know if it was trap or whatever it is, but however it is, I think it to disclose exactly what it is that shows you the man. Who has integrity? Who is very transparent? You know. Yeah. If he never, if he never had anything, um, any, any odd motives, you know, he would have, he would have, he would have opened up, you know. And carry the wife along. But, but, but what you should know that Kama will always find you. Exactly. I'm serious. Exactly. Kama will always find you because exactly. I know of a story of such too that the man traveled abroad and left three young boys, you know. In fact, these are people like with three young boys with a mob, you know, three young boys. The man came here, came to the U.S., came to the U.S. and got married too, you know, and then, of course, abandoned the children, like abandoned the children. So the mom has to raise them up. But now, the children are so, they're, they're big men, you know, uh, not big men, men who are, who are, who are real who you can talk about tomorrow and then be proud of, you know, but this was really sold by a single mom. So, I mean, it's pretty difficult, I must say. I really share the pains of the woman and that shame on the man himself. I mean, for not fulfilling just the very basic thing. I mean, I'm traveling abroad, whatever part of the world it is, more economically vibrant is not heaven. I mean, the issue. Yeah, that. yeah. And, uh, and another thing I also want us to, you know, look at is, the issue of you know if you're married one person has to stay behind i for one mm -mm. i don't like it <laughs> yes i don't I, I i don't especially when it has to be the man leaving i don't because the tendency for the man to remarry or live with women is very high you understand so i always when people ask me oh i want to travel i want him to go first then we'll come later i usually say no it's either all of us mm -hmm. or none of us. You understand? Mm -hmm. It's either one of mm -hmm. us or none of us. Because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, like, I don't know, they said it's a man's word. I don't know. I don't know if that hits them once they get there. If, if it, because if you, if you look at this scenario, if it was, mm -hmm. if it were the woman, do you think she would have done that? I don't think so. You understand? The woman would have waited. The woman would have fought so hard to make sure the guy comes to join her. Unlike the men. Most cases, most cases, it takes the special grace of God for the, 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 the man to wait for the family to join. You understand? So, yeah. Yeah. So, so now what? Because the ladies, um, she's, seeking for advice she's seeking for advice what would be our advice to this lady because right, right now she says she has partial stroke she <laughs> suffered yeah she suffered partial stroke and she's financially very down because she said for the three four years she was trying to apply 
she was not serious in her business you know is you, you understand what it is if you have plan to travel you you are you are your spirit is practically left the present place you understand so everything around is like I, I don't need you anymore. I don't need you. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. So all that period, she wasn't concentrating in her business. She wasn't restocking. Now the business is down. And she has two children to feed all by herself. No husband, no money. And with partial stroke. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah. She has partial stroke according to her. So what would be our advice to this young lady? Oh. Yeah, I mean, first and foremost, I mean, I really empathize with the woman because yeah. this is a very critical case. And so, yes. I mean, health-related, health-wise, economic-wise, and then always suffering that she's bearing at the moment, you know. And um, it, it's so sad that the man knows all about this and then just kept quiet. Like I said, Kama will always find him out and then deal with him according to what he has done. I mean, life most times treats you according to the what amount goes around. to eat. comes around. So, yeah, exactly. What goes around comes around. So, what, I mean, the advice I'm going to give to the woman is this. I mean, the the story is quite clear. And then the handwritings are very clear, you know. It's obvious there's nothing you can do to this man. For a man to go to an extent, not for the very far, but, I mean, telling the whatever country it is to block you, meaning from assessing the country, whatever it is, it shows that, that man has ulterior motives. So those ulterior motives, you don't know. So I don't know. I mean, you're a woman. Um, I know years are not um, with you. But, yeah. she, but I don't know how she's going to pick herself up. I really sympathize with her. I really it's a pain. Sometimes you don't even know what advice to give her. First is that she has two kids to take care of. Yeah. And then secondly, she has her health also. Yeah, and um, it's obvious that the worries and those things, whatever, will have caused high blood pressure, which will have led to partial stroke, you know, because one uh, one thing will have bust her body, and then she's had probably an arrest, and then she's leading to stroke. So, I would advise her, I mean, I'm not going to tell her to forget the past and forgive and move ahead, because sometimes it is to just stand low and let time solve its own problem you know yeah i know she has to feed she has uh but i mean i don't know where the uh help is going to come from but sometimes nature will always uh, reward people who have actually done good you know yeah so because from her there's nothing she did wrong she only she 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 never did anything wrong it's so unfortunate that these things are actually happening to them. Sometimes uh, good people actually pay a price for what they never, they shouldn't have. You know, so, I mean, I'm not going to tell her to stop weeping or whatever it is, but she has to pull herself up together, that she has a life first herself. And then because she has children, she also has a life with the children too, you know. So um, whatever thing that she had before, she can start all over again. I know it's difficult. Now she has partial stroke. Means she has to get work first. Yeah. After getting work first, pick herself up and then because she needs finance to be able to take care of herself and the rest part. So whatever the finance is gonna come from, I really don't know. But first she has to pick herself. For her consciousness, for her to have written this, meaning it's a great strength. I really applaud her. Yeah. Because for her to have shared this story, it's already fifty percent problem solved, you know. Because she will get one or two advice from someone, and then when she puts them together, at least she can. Because other people otherwise would have said, come on, what the hell is life all about? I mean, commit suicide or become depressed from depression and leads to death. But for her, I mean, she still uh, has the courage to write it up so that it can also ins inform other people who may probably be in such a situation and trying to make decisions, you know? trying to make decisions. So for me, I think it is, uh, yeah, let our pipe low, time solves problem. That's all I can give her. I don't have any heavenly advice that it's difficult. She has to weep. But I believe that the, at the dawn of the day, uh, she will smile a lot more. Yeah. Well, uh, also in addition to what you have just said, um, from as a woman, uh, what I would advise her to do is at this point, like you said, she has her health to you know to take care of you need to get well you need to get well which is you need to be very strong 
she needs to be very very strong get well if not for anything for the two children she has so those are her hope those are her future then i would say if uh, i don't pray to be in her shoes but i will tell her she should live like as if she's a widow for now yeah that's the bitter truth she has to live like oh i'm she's a, she's a widow you understand if you're a widow you take care of yourself right you you do whatever yeah. you need to because i don't that guy for me is a lost cost he will only come back later in future maybe to you know beg and all that which is also the angle i want to you know look at too the the the, the angle of coming to ask for forgiveness and apology and all that so for now i will say please live like he never existed so that you can pick yourself up so that you can do things there's nothing you cannot do you are if she's very strong even rewriting this damn simply means she's a strong lady so you can always you know always pick yourself up then prayerfully we pray that you know god will give you the strength and provide for you to be able to move ahead well with time those children will make you proud so you got to live to see the end of this story because the story has not ended just begun you're going to see the end of it but you have to be alive to see it now i want to also let us look at the angle of coming to ask for forgiveness because in one of those stories i've heard one of the ladies um she called me and she was like ah, he came to apologize after all he did after you know abandoning the family they tried he, he, he even got married and never lasted long you know and now he's coming to ask for apology so i i for one i uh, i i i i tell people if you know that thing that you are going to come back to ask for forgiveness later don't even do it you understand don't even attempt it so if this guy should come back for an apology later in future i'm a christian i will say forgive but is she advised to take him back is she advised to take him back i'm asking this question both for this present lady we are talking about and the one that just told me about her story should she take him back I'm at, I, from it from the angle of a man now what do you think well i mean it's uh to, in all honesty it's, it's such a very difficult decision to make especially uh, you have to be in the shoes of the woman to know what she has gone through yeah. to uh, make such decision because sometimes in this case are uh, sort case by case basis you know because it may be the same story well, people have people have different emotions, strength. People have different uh, uh, we um, threshold of endurance. So I mean, in as much as we view it as human beings, but we have tolerance in different levels, you know. So I don't know the trauma the woman had gone through. So from her own circumstances, for example, she shouldn't be able to make decision if it's to accept a man or not to accept a man, you know, because sometimes. It would be freer for her to live without a man, you know, yeah. so that she can bog her mind from the traumas. Because sometimes seeing a man every day with all of your past truth, you can forgive, but can you forget? It relieves the pain, you know. Yes, you can. You can forgive, yeah. but can you forget? Exactly, because yeah. that's why we're human beings, you know. So yeah. you can you relieve the pain. So those are the things that. So for me, I think it's the woman's decision to make. Uh, I I wouldn't make a decision. I wouldn't make a decision for her that uh, it is maybe she should accept or not accept a man. But based on her own uh, challenges or suffering that she's born, you know. Hey, let let her weigh her decision. options. Let's say let her weigh her options and see if it's exactly. favorable enough for her. Okay, guys, this is Jolly on Jolly TV. Don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, hit that subscription button, and put that you know the thumb up. Encourage this, your girl. Well, now on a final note, what would be the, your advice? I want you to give the men the, 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 the an advice to the men, the why I give to the women. What would be your advice to the men, especially the ones that abandon their wives or families back home? Yeah, I mean, first, uh, I mean, um, for, for the men, I, I think it is, firstly, if you're a man of integrity who really understands the value of the woman, and then you've taken a woman as a, your companion, and then your future 
the mothers of your children, uh, at least there has to be some level of um, integrity and the level of commitment you have to put in. Whatever circumstance it is, even if it's economic circumstance, economic changes or whatever it is, or traveling abroad, at least you should put that ahead of you, you know. I don't know, what, whatever it is, I know challenges are bound most times when you travel abroad, you know. But at least, for God's sake, I mean, for God's sake, you should at least put a little bit of eyes on, even if, for example, you decide to marry somebody else, you know. I mean, maybe because of circumstances and you don't wish to come back home. But at least, there has to be discussions. Open up this channel of discussion so that both of you can discuss it, so that the woman too will understand the situation you are in there, you know? And yeah. then that, for example, will calm the nerves and then things will not escalate. Because for what, if we're looking at the situation we just discussed at the moment, we say that the woman is already suffering from partial stroke as a result of your concept, what sure. you've done. So I think it is really, uh, it's really sad to me and then uh, no mind we all conceive that and then we'll also forgive you for what it is that you've done. So uh, for the man, I will advise, if you're, going to get, if you're getting married to a woman and then you're leaving her behind, please make proper arrangement and then keep to your commitment. It said commitment is a bond. Once you keep to your commitment, I, I think um, a lot of uh, blessings are called to you. But if you probably, that's the Christian belief, but if you don't really actually believe in God, but usually, but nature also tells you that um, uh, there's what they call karma, that what you sow is what you reap. So if you do search, for example, you're going to re reap the reward. It may not be now, uh, it may be much later on. It may not even be, maybe much later on. So I, I think um, the man, please, I beg of you, you should, you should please uh, be considerate, especially when you take such situations because you're turning on people's emotions. All right, well, for me, um... I'm just gonna say you no know, to the to the ladies, especially you know, it's good for you to love. It's good for you to you know, want a better life for your family. But it's also very good for you to put a lot of things into consideration in taking decisions like this, especially when the man has to be the one to leave. I've seen incidences like this. It's not one. It's not two. You know, of when the men they leave. Because the truth is that when they travel abroad, there's a lot of things that comes up. A lot that sometimes they cannot tell you. Sometimes they you know, need to figure it out themselves. Sometimes they are even left with no options. So, it's at this point, in taking decisions like this, please take a critical look at it. Weigh the kind of person you are married to. Tell yourself the truth. You know, in all my videos, I always say tell yourself the truth. Tell me the kind of person you are married to. Is this somebody? I know sometimes you cannot really, you know, judge a person or you cannot really conclude on the behavior of somebody, but at least you can you should be able to tell one or two things. How trustworthy is this person? How loving is this person? Because this is a lifetime decision. This is a life-changing decision. If you get it wrong, it will affect you, it will affect your children. So if you look at it, it's not something that will favor you. Please do not be in a haste. To conclude please it is better to stick together it is better to do that struggle bit together if all of you like i used to say please it's good for everybody to move at the same time but if all of you cannot move at the same time then you should stay back together and struggle out together because it's not an easy you know it's not an easy journey it's not a, especially for the men Please. So that would be my advice to the lay uh, to all the women whose you know husband is planning or abroad. So please put all this into consideration to avoid story that touches the heart. Because if you look at this story, it's really I as a woman, I, I can feel her pain. I can really really feel her pain. All right, guys, this is Jolie on Jolie TV. Like I said, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that like and don't forget to share you don't know whose story this could be you don't know whose story this can you know actually calm the nerves or can solve the problem like in thank you sisters for being with me thank you so much for being with me tonight it's a pleasure all right it's a pleasure. all right i hope to see you in my next production too like i used to say
Adios. Adios.